What's up guys? How is everybody out there doing tonight? I hope you all had a fantastic day today. It is Saturday, that means it's mail time. Uh, I have one package here from a break that I got in and a couple other care packages that I, that I will get to. Um, I haven't had a ton of time to, uh, time or I suppose ambition as well uh, for any pickups lately. Um, uh, as some of you know, uh, my wife and I own our own business, so we've been going really hard at that in the past couple weeks. So, um, And plus, I'm kind of in this lull. You know, Jordy retired, and MVS is kind of my, my guy at this point. Um, but we're still in the preseason, kind of feeling things out. So, And plus, the Packers rookie class, there's not many hits in products for the Packers. So uh, this is a break that I got in with my guys over at Buck City Breaks. This was the Cheddar Bob break. So I did have the Packers. So I got this Darnell Savage Jr. out of 129. The World Rookie. This Devontae Adams. Astral. Out of 200. And then it looks like I got a bunch of other rookies and other base cards. So Gary, Dexter Williams, Jair on the rise, Thrill of Victory, Rodgers, Savage, Jace Sternberger, Smith, Sternberger, Rodgers, Sternberger, Bob Tanyan, Devontae Adams, another couple of couple more Tanyans. All right. So that was that. Didn't I mean I, I figured I'd grab the Packers and cuz they they did have a, a few vet hits in that product, but I knew it was a long shot and it didn't work out. <laughs> so All right, next package. It looks like two packages taped together here. So I don't know what to what to make of this. I think we're going to do one at a time. Okay. No note in that one. There might be a note in this one. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Let's see if I can get it out of here. PCA7 I've been waiting for, or watching your channel for a couple of years now, you're collecting has influenced me to go after a few rainbows. I'm on a medium to low budget, but chasing down optic rated rookies and select die cuts has been a lot of fun. That's awesome, dude. I was excited to see you open a box of UFC Chrome recently. Yeah, that was that was a lot of fun, dude. It really was. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I wanted to give you some of these UFC extras I had. I uh, hope you and your viewers enjoy. Thanks for all the content. John. Well, thanks, John. And yeah, dude, I definitely enjoyed that that UFC video. I know there was quite a few people who were kind of like, uh, nah, UFC, you know, it's not football, whatever. But I enjoyed it, so that's about, that's about where we're at with that. So, all right. Oh, Machida Rockhold. That's kind of, that's a cool card. Edgar versus BJ Penn. Oh, that was the ultimate fighter. Nice. Joanna. George St. Pierre. That's my dude right there. Chuck Liddell, the Iceman. That's the Iceman is where I really got really got uh, to like in MMA. Pettis, Pettis Refractor. He gassed out Diaz. Is, Diaz is so good, man. I was pulling for Pettis, but you, you can't take anything away from from Diaz. Here's a Cormier. Oh, 
I respect the heck out of Cormier and Stipe as well. I mean, with that with that fight, with the Cormier-Stipe fight, I was cool with either one of them winning. Um, but, yeah, I'm just glad it, 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 was a, it was a good fight. Nice Cormier at a 75. Wow, the museum collection is sick too. It's really cool. Francis and Ganu, out of <laughs> out of 159. What a what a shot, dude. Jeez. That is crazy. Matt Hughes. Commemorative belt plate. Very cool, man. And John Bones Jones. Out of 88. Very cool, dude. And it looks like the other package here. Kind of saw some... Kind of saw some uh, red and white. Wisconsin Badger red and white in here. Melvin Gordon. I wonder what's going to happen with him. He's kind of pulling a Le'Veon Bell right now. i got to look into that a little bit more, though. Uh, Reggie from Fleer Metal. That's very nice. Sterling Sharp. EQ. Caught that, caught that injury the other day. It's tough. Clay Matthews out of 99. Very nice. Jerry. A couple of Jerry's. Oh, Grace is gonna love this. Optic. Optic Drew Brees, a red one. Out of 99. That's kind of kind of what started her on Drew Brees. She pulled a gridiron kings out of optic out of 99. A red one. And that's what started her on Drew Brees. Got a Larry Fitz intros and a flashback fabrics. Kurt Warner out of 299. Very nice, dude. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Absolutely. It was awesome. Now, this package, I actually had to sign for this package. Sitting at the post office for, for a little bit. And it's from, looks like it's from my dude Bruce over in Hong Kong. And Bruce had sent me a package previously that was nuts. It was full of... Like, signed photos and a whole bunch of stuff. It was crazy. But well, let's get into this and read this. Dear Packer Cards 87, what's, what's up, dude? It's Bruce again. I enjoy every video you have uploaded, and I'm, appreci I'm appreciated with your kind and generous on giving cards to fellow collectors. I put some signed cards and photos for you. And this package is much more insane than the last one I sent you. Lots of names like Vic Beasley, Brandon Allen, Paul Horning, and Peyton Manning are included. Wow. Besides, may I ask you, can Packers return to Super Bowl this season? I'm going to say no. Um, I, You know, it's possible, but I don't think so. Uh, new head coach, the history of new head coaches even getting to the playoffs is very unlikely um i think the packers can make the playoffs if some things go right but honestly dude i'm kind of banking on like an eight and eight season if if i'm going to be brutally honest i'm banking on like an eight and eight season maybe nine and seven squeeze a wild card maybe um that's just kind of how i the feeling that i kind of get new head coach bunch of new players kind of getting down the scheme and the new playbook and all that so kind of how i feel on that one uh, which position positions Packers need to be improved this season? Um, I think we addressed one of them by picking up Darnell Savage Jr. Um, the secondary has always been just not not very good. So I think with Jair back there and Savage, hopefully um, things will things will do a little bit better. I'm worried about the linebacker position at this point. Um, I'm just worried about the linebacker position. So we'll we'll see what we'll see what what plays out with that. But 
uh, that's I, w- I would say linebacker. Um, that's where I'm. That's where I'm most worried at this point. I think receiver receiving core is probably the strongest strongest it's been in a while. Um, offensive line is usually pretty good. Uh, it's probably about yeah, we're good linebackers. You know, defense is usually where we get killed. Uh, three, are there any quarterbacks who can be successors of Aaron Rodgers? Could it be Deshaun Kaiser? Highly doubt that. I'm not I'm not a Kaiser fan. Or other quarterbacks from other teams. I'm not sure. You know, it's only preseason, but Tim Boyle looked pretty good. I'm not saying he's the, the heir to the throne in Green Bay, but um, I don't think it's Kaiser. Is it Tim Boyle? I don't know. Um, he... You know, the guy put up some really good stats, but on the other hand, it's like second and third stringers. So how good is he really? I don't really know. Um, it just seemed like we had a lot more quarterbacks lined up who were capable when Favre was the quarterback. And now with Rodgers being the quarterback, we have been not. That's one of our weakest points is the backup quarterback position, in my opinion. So, yeah, which team... Which teams can make it to Super Bowl this season? I think definitely the Chiefs, if they come back with that offense the same way, Chiefs can go. Um, I'm not saying the Browns can make it to the Super I'm not saying the Browns can win the Super Bowl, but I'm saying they if if they put down on the field what is down on paper, the Browns could make it to the Super Bowl. I'm not 100 percent certain that. Uh, that would go anywhere, but I think they could. Um, you know, there's a lot of other good teams. Uh, there's perennial powerhouses. Now, uh, let's see in the NFC. I don't really think anybody from the North. Maybe. I don't want to say the Bears, but I at this point with the Bears defense the way it is, that's probably the best shot in the North this year. Um, depending on Carson Wentz, the Eagles could, the Eagles have the pieces in place. If Carson Wentz can stay healthy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the Rams could make it back. They could, but yeah, there's, there's quite a few teams, man. I'm going to, my early predictions are going to be chiefs and, uh, gosh, I don't want to say Rams. Um, let's go Chiefs and Saints. Let's make it. Let's make it fun. Chiefs and Saints. That those are my. That's my prediction. I have no idea, but enjoy your stuff. Go Pack. Go Bruce. All right. So Bruce. Oh my goodness. Oh, dude, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. Holy cow. All right, we're going to roll through these first. Bruce Armstrong. Mike Kofer. Place kicker. Fennec. Steve Walsh. Johnny Holland, eh? Nice. Johnny Holland. Man, there's a bunch of older dudes in here. Don Beebe. Hey, he was on the Packers. Cool. My dad actually met Don Beebe. Came into his, uh, when he had his marine shop down here in Milwaukee. Bobby Humphrey. Bostic. Huh. Goodwin champion. Alan Page. Ronnie Lott. Tom Landry, Bart Starr, is that from 2013? All these pro set cards, man. I remember back growing up, man, my brothers would collect the sets. So they'd have the entire sets of these pro set cards and score and all that good stuff. So, I mean, that was kind of the, those were some of the only options in the game at that point you know you were 
basically getting cards to build sets. And that was Joe Gibbs. That was kind of your uh, goal at that point in time, was to build sets. Atwater. Spike. Troops watch the Super Bowl. Lindy Infante. Oh, man, Lindy Infante. All right, what is this now? This looks... Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. That's Jimmy Johnson, isn't it? Or is that Jimmy Johnson or Jerry Jones? I think it might be Jerry Jones. Here's both of them on here. I don't know what Jimmy Johnson's... uh signature as opposed to Jerry Jones. I'm going to go with Jerry Jones. Kind of looks like a Y there. Oh man. Vic Beasley. Is that Vic Beasley? Yep. That's Vic Beasley. Sack and Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> All right, man. I'll give you that one. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty funny. We can't deny that that happened. So who is this dude? Brandon Allen. Gold ink. Ron Salt for the Colts. There's another one. What? <laughs> Eddie DiBartolo. Jerry's in the picture. That's why I was kind of, I was looking at it. I'm like, it says, Brian, you're finished. Or your, your friend. I thought it said you're finished. Eddie B. Cool, man. He's up there with Jerry and everything. Cal Bird, Cal Bird song. Wow. Dude, this, this package is nuts, man. What is this one? Otis Sistrunk. I gotta know, dude. How do you get all these, man? Because this is crazy. <laughs> Dwayne Thomas. Uh, is this Mr. Salt again? Yes, it is. These are all too Brian, too. This is nuts. Darren Chavarini. Uh, is that a long? Jake Long. It's a long brother. Working on Clay Matthews right there, who is now on the Rams. Is that Jake again? Yep. Jake Long. Ah, oh, dude, look at that. Peyton Manning. That is so sweet, dude. Bo both in his Super Bowl jerseys, too. Holy cow. Wow. That's nuts. How cool is that? All right. Whoa. Oh, I got a couple other ones in here, too. A couple other... Whoa, dude. Holy cow. Look at that. To Brian Brett Favre. That's when he broke the... I think that's when he broke... That's when he broke the touchdown record. I was going to say passing yards, but no. Absolutely not. That was the touchdown record. To Brian Brett Favre. Wow. Another Favre in his younger days. Bruce Armstrong. Another Armstrong. Is that, is that Bradley? Who is that? 
Austin Collie. Oh, this is the dude that got wickedly knocked out. He he had some he had some crazy concussions. Austin Collie did. He was really good though. He was, as far as I can remember, he was really sure-handed. But he got he got clunked on the head quite a few times, dude. Who's this dude? Is that Brunel? That is Mark Brunel. A couple of Mark Brunels. Oops. This dude. Oh, that's uh, Steve Grogan, right? Yeah, Steve Grogan. Paul Horning. Holy cow, dude, this is nuts. This package is huge, man. Another Horning. Okay, we got a request from Hong Kong. Okay. Gary. Gary. Fen. Fen. Fensick. Gary Fensick. A little before my time. Super Bowl 20 was a little before my time. It must have been the 85 Bears team, which that was two years before I was born, but hey. Uh, to Brian, good luck from Matt Barr. Kicking that ball, dude. Matt Barr. Another Matt Barr. Another map bar. Point where it wants it to go. Map bar could do both football and soccer during his career. Wow, that's cool. Interesting, man. Who is this dude? Joe Ferguson. Joe Ferguson with the Buffalo Bills. I got another Bears dude. Who is this? Steve Walsh. Anthony Armstrong. Gary Pearsons. Oh, dude, look at this. No way. Don Beebe. That's in the Super Bowl, too. Yep, there's Freeman and Ryzen. Nice. Dude, that's sweet. Another BB in Packers uniform. That dude was fast. Don Beebe was fast. Another BB. BB. George Seifert. 49ers. Another George Seifert. Best wishes, Brian. Uh, oh, Daryl Johnston, dude. Nice. Moose. Daryl Johnston. Nice auto, dude. Very cool. Holy cow. This is crazy. I don't know who this is, but maybe we'll find out. Ryan. Ryan Lindell. Right. This dude, Jeff Bostick. Roman Gabriel. Oh, Devin White. 
It's a new recruit. I think uh, Devin White's... I can't remember if that's the Buffalo Bills dude or if that's the Buccaneers dude. I think it's the Buccaneers dude. Brian, go Skins. Jim Lachey. Rockney Freitas. Who's this dude? Pat Donovan. Rich Wingo. I think. Packer action. Yeah, Rich Rich Wingo. Charlie Joyner. No mistake in that one. Few cool Charlie Joiners, man. Look at that catch. That one's cool too. A lot, quite a few Charlie Joiners. Two touchdowns that day. Hey Charlie. All right. Tim, uh, no, Tom Rathman. I don't know why I want to call him Tim. But that's Tom. Tom Rathman. Chris Barr. What? Gaskowski? Dude, what? That's nuts. Steven Gaskowski. Wow. Uh, who's this dude? Johnny Holland. And we got... Joe DeLemil in... Er, I, I, don't, I don't know who that is, but... He's in the Hall of Fame. And I probably should know who he is, but I don't. Very cool, man. Holy cow. That was, that was nuts, and there's still more in here, too. I don't think a ton more, but there's like a, oh, yeah, that's definitely Jerry Jones in the beginning, because look at this Jerry Jones. Hall of Fame 17, Jerry Jones. Zeke who? <laughs> I don't think Zeke was very happy about that. He was just kidding, but stars of the, of game day. We got some Dallas Cowboys stuff. Got some Cowboys stuff. Got a Ronnie Lott, big old Ronnie Lott photo. Holy cow. Cowboys stickers. I'm going to find a Cowboys fan for these, man, because I will not use those. It's like sacrilege in my house. And then a Dallas Cowboys training camp preview. Well, very cool, man. I'm going to find the nearest Cowboys fan and give those things to him. Not that I don't appreciate you sending them, but just that the Cowboys fan will appreciate it a lot more. That was crazy, dude. Bruce, you are you are a madman. You're a madman, Bruce. Thank you so much, though, man. I hope I answered all your questions, and uh, thank you so much. That was that was wild. This this uh, mail time did turned out to not be so much focused on cards as it was on these signed photographs, and a lot of those are really cool. So thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another video soon.